Hi all, how are you? I hope everyone stay at home and stay hygiene and stay healthy and not to worry. Okay, so without further ado, let's continue with our lecture. Okay, I have decided to record as a video as this will be more clear as compared uh, to the live streaming lecture. For the, furthermore, for those who miss me, you can later repeat the video and listen to my voice. Yeah? Okay, so we know that uh, we can classify the capital cost estimate into five types. So in this course, we will only cover the order of magnitude estimates or other, other things that we call it as a ballpark estimate, gas time and class 5 estimate. And the accuracy is 30 to 50% only. And because this order of magnitude estimate is only based on the cost of similar processes, which is we have historic data, and we don't have enough information. And this order of magnitude estimate work as an initial feasibility studies and for the screening purposes only. Okay, this is the historic cost data. Uh, under rapid cost estimate, we can use historic cost data and this is the quickest way to make an order of magnitude estimates which require no design information at all what we need is only the production rates and then the capital cost of a project is related to these equations okay so what is c2 here c2 is isbi capital cost of the project with capacity s2 and C1 is ISBI capital cost of the project with capacity S1. Actually, they have a value of this index N, okay, they have 0 0.8 to 0 0.9 with a process with a lot of mechanical work for various compressions, and 0 0.7 typical petrochemical processes. 0.4 to 0.5 for small scale and highly instrumented processes and the last is 0.6 for the whole chemical industry but what we can see here that we are referring to uh, table 6.2 here value of a and n for the same field and commodity chemical processes are given in table 6.2 okay let's go to table 6.2 Okay, in table 6.2, okay, we can see here they have a processes, licenses, capacity units, S lower, S upper, A and N. Okay, so before we proceed to use this table, let's go to the notes at the bottom of this table. Okay, notes. Value of A are in January 2006 in million US dollar and on a US Gulf Coast basis. That means all of these values here, which is A and N, here all is refer or as a basis is in the year 2006. And what is this S lower and S upper? This one indicate the bound of the region over which the corrections can be applied. So means if for example, if I take this P xylene by isomer and parex, and then the unit is TPY, is TPY short ton per year. So the lower range is 300,000, the upper range is 700,000. Let's say we have value which is 100,000 here, 100,000 uh, ton per year. So means I cannot use this value of A and N. So because it will not be accurate estimations okay but we still can use but because we don't have enough information we still can use but it's not accurate at all okay so what is s number three s is based on product rate for chemical fit rate for fuels okay if the number four if the index n is 0 0.6 then correlation is extrapolation around a single cost point okay let's make action about this 0 0.6 okay 0 0.6 rule we call it is one aspect of scale economics in engineering okay this 0 0.6 rule has its origins in the relationship between the increase in equipment cost and the increase in the capacity that's why here we can see we are using capacity as a parameter 
okay and this 0.6 rules often used as a rule of thumb to obtain the investment cost okay so number five flow units are a million pound per year if you see here they have a unit with different unit you can refer to the number five here to see what is the meaning of this unit okay mm pound year is a million pound per year tpy short time per year bpd barrel per day okay so number six correlation are based on data taken from hydrocarbon processing except where the license is stated as generic in which cases the correlation are based on data from nexon perk reports actually all of these informations we can get it online but somehow some of the information like this table like this table for example we need to purchase okay to get the information and sometimes it's not cheap okay okay let's continue uh, rapid cost estimate we also can use stack counting methods if cost data the cost data is not available means the historic data is not available then we can use order method estimate can be made by adding contribution for different plant sections of functional units so means it based on number of functional units or main units based on the process flow diagram so all the equipment and ancillaries for significant process step or functions such as reaction and separations pumping and heat exchange are not normally considered unless okay is uh is uh is a substantial substantial cost for example compressor uh, refrigeration system, furnace system, a boiler system, which have a significant cost for fabrications. And then we have these bridge water methods that correlates plant cost against number of processing steps. For plant pre-processing liquid and solid. So here we have two different equations for ISBI capital cost in US dollar. So you see here, these equations is valid for 2000 basis. Okay, it means that year 2000 basis and the end here okay is a number of functional units let's say based on the process flow diagram we have 10 major equipments so this 10 major equipment very substantial in the cost okay so we will consider the number of functional units is 10 okay and then the Q here is the plant capacity in metric ton per year. So means we have two conditions here. If the plant capacity in metric ton per year is 60,000, more than 60,000 and equal, you use these equations. Okay, if the Q less than 60,000, so we use these equations. Okay. So take this example. We have a process flow diagram like this. Okay, we decided we having this vaporizer, compressor, reactors, okay, waste heat boilers, and then this one's mixer absorber. So we have six units here. Okay, and if you can see here, filters here, filters here. Is not considered as is not considered as substantial in the cost, including the cooler and condenser. Okay, to decide this, actually we need to look at the cost for each of the equipment. Okay, if a substantial cost um, needed, then we need to consider as the functional units. Okay, we have another way uh, to calculate rapid cost. Okay, bridge water method for chemical plant and do not extend well to other type of manufacturing. So mean bridge water methods is only suitable for chemical plants. If we have uh, other type of manufacturing, so for a large scale production of manufactured item more than 500,000 pieces per year, a rule of thumb is used as this one, two times of the material cost. Okay. These equations can be used to make a very approximate estimate of plant cost 
its fixed cost and utility can be estimated. What is this COP, which is a total cost of production? This one is only applied for manufacturing. Okay. Okay, let's go to this example. Okay, the process for making cyclohexane by saturation of benzene consists of feed, effluence, heat exchanger, a saturation reactors, and a product stabilizer column. Estimate the cost of a plant that produces 200,000 metric tons per year okay, of cyclohexane using the correlation in table 6.2 and bridge water methods. So here, we are using table 6.2. A, we refer to this table. Huh? This table, we have a cyclone by liquid phase hydrogenations of benzene. Once the process is cyclohexane by saturations of benzene. So it's available here for us to use this information. And then we check the range. The range is 100,000 to 300,000 tons per year. And our case is 200 thousand times per year so it's inside the range of s so we can use these informations so directly use the equations we substitute what is a we substitute what is n this is here and we substitute what is the capacity so we need to write that uh, the answer as 9.24 million expressed on a january 2006 usg space it means this value this data is for the use in 2006 year okay then use bridge water methods okay in this case we only have two functional unit reactor and product stabilizer and the heat exchanger doesn't count because we consider this no as substantial cost for the heat exchanger unless it's mentioned otherwise okay assume that the conversion is one okay so means we need to know what is the conversion rates, but here didn't mention any conversion rate. So we just assume the conversion rate is one. Okay. So since it's two hundred thousand, okay, and time per year, and the Q is more than sixty thousand, so we are using these equations. Okay. So just substitute everything here. Okay. And S is equal to 1. Unless it's have mentioned in the equations that the conversion rate is 90%, then you need to put 0 0.9 there. Okay. Then uh, what we get is 24 million expressed on a January 2000 USD basis. This is the right way how we write the cost estimation together with the year. Okay. So here the conclusion. Bridge water method is an approximation. Okay. This one is estimation. And table 6.2 based on data from technology vendor. As compared to these two methods, table 6.2 is more accurate as compared to bridge water methods. Okay, with the level information available, it's probably safe to say that the cost in the range as 10,000 million to 20,000 million. Okay, the costs are not on the same time basis. Okay, so you can see here. This one 2000 year basis, this one is 36 year basis, so it's different. Okay, so correcting the cost on different time basis must be applied. Later, we will cover what is a cost escalation. Okay, factorial method of cost estimations. A relatively accurate estimate of the capital cost of the project can be made by length factors and detailed factorial methods. So here I can say that using this factorial method, it will be more accurate as compared to the rapid cost estimations previously. Okay, length factors. Length proposed that ISBL feeds capital cost of a plant is given as a function of total purchase recruitment cost. So in these equations, what we need to do is to find what is the cost for all the major equipment items, for example, reactors, tanks, columns, heat exchanger, furnaces, etc. So this F, okay, is actually an installation factors, later widely known as length factors. Okay, length originally proposed the following value of F. Okay, F equal to 3.1 for solid processing plant, F 4.74 for fluid processing plant, F equal to 3.63 for mixed fluid, process, fluid solid processing plant. 
okay from actually this one is to calculate total ISBL okay so hence they don't suggested okay things like this method is using okay total delivered cost of all major equipment items so F this one is installation factors so at 1915-8, hence suggests that the better results are obtained by using different factors for different type of equipment as per in this table. So these are the installation factors based on different type of equipment. Okay. Equation 16.11, okay, this one is detailed factorial estimates. So this equation to make a preliminary estimate once the flow sheet has been drawn up. So we know what, how many equipment that uh, supposed to be in our process flow. Okay, when more detailed design information is available, then the installation factor can be estimated somewhat more rigorously by consider the cost factor that are compounded into long factor individually. So means it's more detailed estimations remain. So the direct cost item that incur in the constructions of a plant in addition to the cost equipment are listed in this table 6.4. So typical factor for estimate project fees capital cost. So means we after we having the major equipment, so we can see here we can other factors that to be considered. Okay? Equipment reactions, piping, instrumentations and control, electrical work, civil work, structures and building, lagging and pins. So here we can calculate the ISBL cost. Okay? And this is the factors values later that we are going to use. Okay? They have process type, which is only fluid, this column, fluid solid, this column, solid, this column. Okay? So we are using these equations later on. Okay, to calculate what is our total state's capital cost. Okay, this one means 1 plus OS. This OS is outside. Okay, and D and E is design and engineering. X is contingency. Okay, and this CE later on is based on the factor that we want to include. Okay. Typical factor for the component of the vehicle are given in table 6.4. So these installation costs given are for plants built from carbon steel. Okay, so this table based on carbon steel. Okay, table 6.4. Eh? So this installation given plants for built from carbon steel. For more exotic material used, then a material factor should be introduced. Means if the plants or the equipment later using stainless steel other than carbon steel, we need to apply these factors which is material factors okay note that material matter factors is not equal to the ratio of the metal price as the equipment process cost also include labor costs our overhead rental profit and other costs that not scale directly with metal price okay so these equations okay can be implemented okay for each piece of equipment okay so later we are going to use this both equation or either this one or this one okay so you see here in this equation ceics purchase equipment cost i in carbon steel okay and this equation is purchase equipment cost argument i in alloy so means here we have the factor uh, material factors okay fm fm is the material factors yeah Okay, this one is the material factors values. Carbon C is one. Okay, since like the table is using carbon C, so it's one. Other than carbon C, they have different factors as per listed here. Okay, summary of material matters. Okay, in of course we need to prepare material and energy balances and draw up primary flow sheets, size major equipment and select material constructions. After we doing that. We need to estimate the purchase cost for the major equipment. Okay. Then we calculate ISB install capital cost using factors in table 6.4 and correcting for material of concern using equation 6.13 or 6.14 factor given in table 6.5. Okay, table 6.5 is what again we go back. Table 6.5 is the material cost factors.
Okay, then we can calculate OSBL engineering and contingency cost contingency cost using factors given in table 6.4. So the sum of ISBL, OSBL engineering and contingency cost is the fixed capital investment. Estimate the working capital as percentage of fixed capital investment is 10 to 30 percent. Then add the fixed and working to get the total investment required. Okay. Okay. Estimation of purchase equipment cost. The factorial method of cost estimation based on purchase equipment cost and therefore require good estimate for equipment cost. So these are the equations. CE purchase equipment cost on the US Gulf Coast basis and this value, this uh cut. <clears throat> this price is based on year 2007. So A and B is the constant value in table 6.6. .6. Later you will see what is table 6.6. .6. And then S is the size parameter in table 6.6. .6. And is exponent for type of equipment. So the correlation in table 6.6 .6 are only valid between the lower and upper value of S indicated. So it's only valid, let's say it's outside the range, we're still using it. So means the cost estimation that we make is not accurate at all. Okay, so the price are all for carbon steel, the same for carbon steel, except when noted in the table. So we need to look at the table, whether he has mentioned that this cost is using different type of metal, okay, not carbon steel. Then cost calculated can be updated using cost escalation and converted to international location. So this important. Because this information okay, we are using is year 2007. Let's say now it's already 2020. So we need to use cost escalation data to get the updates price. Okay, and this one if the location also different. For example, this one based on US Gulf Coast basis, but we want to build in Malaysia, then we need to use location factors. Okay, this one is table 6.6. .6. Okay, purchase equipment cost for common plant equipment. So here, for example, boilers here. We have package 15 to 14 bar. So they mentioned the pressure range. And then <clears throat> the unit for S here is kilogram per hour steam. So the lower is 5,000 up to 200,000. Let's say our steam to produce is 1000 kilogram per hour so it's not valid to use this value which is a b and then it's not valid okay but still can use but it's not valid and it's not accurate okay so if you look at the table here we go to the table which is 6.6 .6. you open the handbook and we find table 6.6 .6. okay this is table 6.6 .6. okay so you can see here we have sorry we have these equipments Units for size, lower, upper, A, B, and notes. Okay. So if you see here, scroll down, there's note here. Okay. Here they have for dryers, for example, direct contact row three. And then at the end have number one. Okay. And at the end for here have number two. So have one, two, three here. What you can do is you go to the notes and see what is one. One is direct heated two is get fired and see number three and find whether have list okay reactor jacketed agitated so this one is number three so means this jacketed agitated reactors built from stainless steel okay so you have other notes as a number four for example here packing okay 304 ss structured packing Number four. Number four means with surface area of 350 meters square per meter cubic. Okay, then you can see the rest also here. And here number eight is important. All costs are US Gulf Coast based in January 2007. So means this one is the year 2007. Okay, so you go back to the slide. Okay, this is another example. Later, I will create another video to explain and to discuss about this example. Okay, so let's we proceed to this. Okay, cost escalation. Cost estimation use historical data 
and uh, terms of forecast of future costs. The prices of material of construction and the cost of labor are subject to inflation, means the material constructions and the cost of labor price will change based on years. Okay, so we use published cost index to update the cost. Okay, so more convenient to use composite index published for various industries in the trade journals. For so this, is the trade journal, for example, C index, MNS equipment cost index, and F. Uh, index okay this example of index values you can see here from 1990 until 2005 here the price like the index value increase okay same with this data also okay so this nf cems refer to this trade journal which is c index mns equipment cost and f index Okay, let's go to this simple example. So the purchase cost of a shell and TVA stranger carbon shell, 316 stainless steel tubes, heat transfer area 500 meters square, was $64,000 in January 2003. So estimate the cost in January 2010. So here, the question asks us to use the M and S equipment cost index. According to these figures, this plot, Okay, MS is this line. Okay, so from this figure 6.2a, or by looking up in that in chemical engineering, okay, so we look at this line MS, okay, MS equipment cost index in 2003. Okay, so just draw 2001, 2000, 2001, 2002, 2003. So this value is 2003 okay and then 2004 2005 2006 2007 so this one is 2007 okay since we want to estimate the cost in january 2010 okay we don't have the information okay so what we can do here is to do extrapolations okay from period 2003 to period 2000 okay then actually you can do for 2007 also here for this example okay so by extrapolating from this period okay index for 2010 will be 1560 so estimated cost in January 2010 is this 64,000 okay times okay the extrapolations value 1560 Okay, divide by 1124. Okay, so the value is 89,000. Okay, but if I'm using uh, from 2003 to 2007, so I can get, okay, the value is 1623. This one is 1560, because 2003 2005. So you can use this one also. Okay. So location factors, most plant and equipment cost that are given on a U.S. Gulf Coast or no west Europe basis. So the cost building of plant in other locations will depend on local fabrication, construction, infrastructure, local level availability and cost, cost of shipping or transporting equipment to the site, import duties, currency exchange. So these, all these differences are often captured in cost estimating by using a location factors. So if you if we have different locations, so means we need to consider these location factors. So these differences are often captured in cost estimating by using a location factor. Cost of plant in location A, cost of plant on US USGS times the location factors. So this location factor for location relative to USGS plant uh, basis. So this table gives example location factor relative to USGC installation. So means if in UK, so I need two times 1.02. If you are in the Middle East, Middle East country, for example, uh, Bahrain, Egypt, Iraq, Iran, so Jordan, so this one is Middle East, so we need to multiply 1.07. Okay. So if uh, South Asia, so means like Malaysia, Brunei, Cambodia, Singapore, 
so we need to times 1.12 this one is the location factors okay so this is another example for location factors the cost of constructing a 30,000 metric tons per year acrolein plants were estimated as 80 million on 2006 us gulf coast basis what will be the cost in euro and us dollar on 2006 germany basis so means now we want to convert to germany basis okay we need to refer to table 6.7 here okay so the 2000 location factors for germany was 1.11 so see this table germany so 1.11 okay so the asian rate in total average about this one we need to refer to the current exchange okay so pound sterling one is us 1.15 and total is average of equals to 1.35 so the 2006 location factor for germany is just using this okay 1.1 times 1.35 divided by 1.15 so 1.3 so the cost of building a cloning plant in germany 2006 is like 80 million here times 1.3 we get us 104 million so the cost of building the plant in euro okay this one euro sorry euro okay is us 104 divided by 1.35 okay so it's euro 77 million okay okay let's proceed <coughs> economic evaluation of project i believe this economic evaluation you have learned in one subject which is economic uh, management engineering and management okay so as the purpose of investing money in Kamikana is to earn money, of course we want to earn money. So means we want to make profit. Okay, so some means of comparing the economic performance of the project is needed. So the management must convince that the project will provide a sound investment compared to other alternatives. So means when we choose the process path, so this plan can produce profit. Okay. Principal method used for making economic comparison between project cash flow, cash flow diagram, and economic analysis. Okay, this is the typical cash flow diagram. Uh, you can see here A, B here at this line. Okay, the investment is required to design the plant. So we put money on this uh, plant. Then number two, B, C, this line B, C. The heavy flow of capital to build the plant and provide fund for startup. So we spend money here. And CD, this line, okay, the process come on stream and income and generate from sale. So this point at this point, break even point, project is start to earn money. Okay, until E here. And E have to at the end of the project, it may due to increase operating costs and falling sale volume okay this operating cost may be the maintenance cost will increase okay so this one is the typical cash flow and this area is debt area okay or your payback time okay payback time a simple method for estimate payback time is to divide the total initial capital which is capital fixed capital and working capital by average annual cash flow okay so these are equations this is not the same payback time indicated by the cash flow diagram as it assumed that all the events made in year zero and revenue begin immediately. For most chemical project, chemical plant project, this is not realistic and investment are typically spread over one to three years and revenue may not reach 100% of this basis until the second year of operation. Okay, so this simple payback time also not include or is neglects the taxes and depreciations. <clears throat> Other thing we can do is uh, to calculate the ROI. Okay, ROI allows an investor to evaluate the performance of an investment and incorporate it to other in his or her portfolio. Okay, so if the ROI is calculated at average over the whole project, we use these equations and pretext ROI is this equation. Okay, pretext ROI is based on cash flow, not profit or taxable income, therefore, does not include a depreciation charge. Okay, so For this economic evaluation is only for review, okay? I'm not going to cover this one. 
Okay. I think that's all for these uh, chapters. So we'll create another videos to explain uh, about <clears throat> the example, how to calculate, uh, to do the cost estimations. Okay, thank you.